Hi, this is an introduction to PortableApps.com, a website dedicated to the installation and operation for you of applications that you use every day that are in a portable format rather than being installed on your computer. And why would you want portable software? Well, one thing is for keeping work and personal use separate. Um, for those of you who are retired or only have one computer, you may not find much of a need for this. Although, there is a surprising amount of software, and I'm sure that all of you are going to find at least a couple of programs that you are interested in that you maybe didn't even know existed. Uh, you can run your standard browsers, you can run Office software, and you can run your software from a cloud drive, a flash drive, you can install them locally on your PC or on an external drive. I have mine installed on a flash drive that happens to be an SSD. And what you do is you download their free installer, and you run the installer software, and it will install you you follow the instructions and the uh, every pc that you run it on will feel as though it's your own pc because you'll have your documents and your applications your bookmarks your settings um you can take you can be on a cruise ship or in a hotel uh business office and use their computer to edit your software and your documents without putting anything on their computer or using anything on their computer. If you're using a shared computer, like one in a hotel, maybe you want to log on and check your mail. Well, don't use their web browser. Use yours. Put it on a flash drive or on the cloud and, and run your version of Firefox or your version of Chrome on a, on a, on a computer that you don't know. Uh, how much does it cost? It's free. There's no cost. There's no catch, no registration, no malware, and no accounts that you have to create. I, to be honest with you, I don't know how this website maintains itself. Um, anyway, that's the website. When you download the software, it downloads a program called PortableApps.com Platform Setup, and you run that. And I created a directory on my flash drive called D colon portable. And it has the portable apps folder, which has all the software in it, a folder for my documents and a start menu. And if I click on the start menu, it will bring up this menu right here and I can move it around on the screen. And you'll see that I have all these different categories of software already installed on my computer. Uh, down here, it tells me how many free gigabytes I have out of total. I've got 146 gigs free out of 954. Uh, here's my documents, my videos, my pictures. And here's where I would install more applications. If I want to, like for example, under development, I've got Notepad++. Under games, I've got a solitaire game. Uh, graphics and pictures, I've got some software. Um, under Internet, I've got Firefox and Google and Opera. Uh, if none of you have seen Opera run before, this is what Opera looks like. Running from a flash drive. And there you are. And you can go and do what you want to do. And that's all there is to it. Yes, I want to quit Opera. And I'm going to go back to the start menu. And under Office, I've got all the Office, LibreOffice software. So no matter where I go, um, I have my LibreOffice. One of the, um, and then I have, I added under Other, uh, Discord and Waterfox. Under Security, I've got my KeyPass password manager. So I can run my password manager from a flash drive anywhere I am. And under Utilities, I've got the software program Everything, uh, Yummy, PZip, 
Explorer Plus Plus, CC Cleaner. Uh, under Apps, you can check for updates. Uh, this program, when you run it, will check for updates to see if there's any available updates. And that's not just to the Portable Apps program itself. That's to all of the software that you've installed. So when you install all this software, it's going to keep it all up to date for you. Uh, when I get more apps, I can get them by category, by title, new releases, or recently updated. I'm going to choose category as an example. And here is the list of software. I apologize for the tiny font. There's nothing I can do about it. Um, there are development software programs, education programs, games, all kinds of games that you might be interested in playing. Um, they have graphics and picture programs. Uh, you can run GIMP off the off of your external drive if you want to. Um, they've got all kinds of software. Um, Pick Pick is a good program. There's in the internet category they've got all these browsers and internet type software programs. Thunderbird email. Zoom. You can even run Zoom meetings. So you could be at a public computer and run Zoom uh, off, of a, off of someone else's computer. Uh, it's got Audacity and all kinds of video and audio programs. This is where all of the Office software is. Uh, my Joplin note-taking program is in here. Um, security software and utilities. It's got all this neat stuff in here. Look at this. Tons and tons of software. So look through the list. Go through by category. Go through alphabetically. And pick out some stuff and give it a try. You'll be surprised at how good it is and how useful it is. Um, I can run... Uh, this is how long it takes me to bring up LibreOffice Writer from the flash drive. takes a few seconds running from a flash drive <laughs> and it's this is my first time running LibreOffice portable since I last upgraded it so it might be going through some updates and there it is so now that it I've run it once if I run it again it'll run faster this time if I go into writer it'll come up faster now there we go see it was doing some stuff in the background that it needed to do. Um, so anyway, this is an introduction to PortableApps.com.